Okay, there we go. Ah, that's how it works. There, okay, cool. Ah, this is so confusing, because I think I'm just gonna commit to YouTube if I'm being honest, as opposed to, um... Uh, yeah, I'm probably just gonna commit to YouTube. Just, just because I feel like I'm already here, and it's better for me this way, in my opinion. Okay, so, I have Penelope preparing stuff. Hold on, I gotta prepare. Honestly, I think it's better for me to go no webcam just because I feel more comfortable. I honestly feel a lot more comfortable talking without a webcam. Okay, so everyone's equipped with protect and shell. All I have to do is... Okay, I believe I have Eskier berries to help me fight this Garuda. Okay, awesome. I do, however, want a ranged uh, fighter, in which case it'll be Fran. I just want to make sure everyone's gambits is set. I don't think we're going to need Pinello for this fight, just because we have Fran who can already use Kira. Um, yeah, so what we're going to do here actually is we're going to take off Pinello. I do want to put in Ash. I believe Ash has access to Aqua. She does. Okay. okay, now we are ready to fight. Okay, hold on. So, we do have to get the Eskier Berries going. Alright, it should be significantly weaker. Yeah, okay, it is actually a lot weaker now, which is awesome. I remember fighting this thing for the very first time, and I completely... I was... I did not know that I had to use Eskier Berries to beat it, and I ended up completely whiffing that fight. I remember it being really scary because it killed me so quickly and then I realized I had to do that mini quest where I had to defeat the turtle and then I finally got it, so. Other than that, this was a relatively straightforward fight. Um, I think after this, I'm gonna go tackle some of the quests which um, I had been meaning to do actually. Ancient device stirs. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm, I have a little bit of a cold. <laughs> Long ago, the gods granted their favor to King Wraithwall, who would oversee the subject. Just realized that territory game audio was down, Dalia so that fight Valendia. went without Here, any audio. Kind of awkward. Though he is called the Dynast King. Upon establishing the alliance, he demonstrated compassion for his people and disdain for needless war. That's actually a but very rare characteristic on, on like bring peace and prosperity for leaders, for of years to follow. especially kings. It was during a this very time of peace quality. that the city-states of Arcadia and Rosaria, each members of Wraithwall's alliance, took root and flourished. Wraithwall left three relics signifying descent from the Dynast King. Of these, the Midlight Shard was given to what would become House Nebradia, and the Dusk Shard to my ancestors, the founders of Dalmasca. Nebradia, Dalmasca. The last of these relics was the Dawn Shard. It remained hidden here, known only to those of royal blood. 
As though the Dynast King foresaw the very plight before us now. None save descendants of the King are suffered within. If we attempt to enter without proof of such lineage... There's no guarantee we'll make it out alive. Vicious beasts, fiendish traps, demon like walls... Mm -hmm. Guardian Belias... But you Belias. must consider the prize. The Dawn Shard lies within, and Wraithwall's treasure. And there was I, thinking this was going to be hard. I mean, you're entering the king. You're entering the tomb of an ancient dynast king. This is gonna be hard. I mean, it's obvious that he was pretty sarcastic when he said that, but like, still. Alright, so, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go tackle the, um... We're gonna tackle the quest where we fight both the snake and the turtle. I forgot their names. I think the snake is the Merileth? No, it's the Nidhogg. And I believe the turtle is... I forgot the name of the turtle mark. Um, so it's the Nidhogg. And the turtle is... Ilica, the Ku Skyground. So I think the Ku Skyground is it's pretty nearby. So we'll take that one first, actually. So the... Uh, oh, it's oh, it's it, it's literally the area we haven't explored. Actually, that makes sense. We have we've had no reason to go there up until this point. So let's make our way over down yonder this way. Okay, I believe he's sitting on one of yeah, that's the one. That's him. I remember him. You've spoken with Mont Blanc. You will accept my request. You will hunt the rock, to rock toys, that's what it's called, okay. I always knew it pays to have friends. I'm Pilika. Me and Mont Blanc have been friends for a long time. That's why I went to him. You see, it's kind of embarrassing, but I had this rock toys I was keeping as a pet. But he ran away. I had given up hope on finding him. Then I started hearing the rumors about a giant titan toys wrecking the havoc, wreaking havoc in the mines. And I realized that that's my pet. I just know it. My little toy slipped into the mines and he absorbed magicite energy and he got big and violent. I'd go and get him back myself, but the mines are awfully big. I'd get lost. I'd get a friend to help, but I'm so embarrassed. And that's why I wrote Mont Blanc. And here you are. And my little rock toys. Well, mm, he's not little, but he's in sight two of the Lusu mines. Go get him! I mean, uh, yeah, sure, I will. Why not? Uh, first, though, I have to go talk to the... I believe he's a Seek. A Seek. S-E apostrophe E-Q, I believe. I never really did understood why there were the need of apostrophes, in all honesty. Um, so we are headed over yonder this way. And we head over here. <clears throat> okay, who's the mark? Oh, I think it's him. Yeah, this guy. Gah, you have looked at the board. You have seen my bill. Then you have come to kill the Nidog. Oh, yes, I have. Ha, what great fortune. Please listen. There have always been many Raksas, what you call fiends in Lusu, held at bay by a paling. But the paling has fallen. Now it seems rather that some Murka has broken it, and now something terrible has come out. Yes, a Nidhogg. Previously sleeping deep within the mines has come to the surface. It is beyond us even Padre B regards to defeat. Please, Padra, feed this Nidhogg and find where find where the shaft splits into two ahead. Our prayers go with you. Yeah, I've always tackled these quests when I got Bossler. It, it just makes the fight a lot easier. He absorbs a lot of the hits. As long as I have him absorbing all the hits, I am absolutely fine. Gosh, I hope I don't sound too sick. I also yell at kids because I coach, so... Another reason why... Another reason why my voice runs out pretty well. Wait! I need to grab these treasures! I we need to get rid of all of these... These... Uh, Stone, earth stone. Let's head over down here. Actually, equipping Bosch with a spear is pretty good. I'll be honest. Boom. Big kaboom. Okay. High potion. Oh my 
goodness. Okay, I, okay, I, I know the reason why I farmed a lot of skeletons here in the mines is because I know they yield a lot of, uh, not they yield a lot of, but fragment, bone fragments sell for a lot of money, or a lot of gil, so I gotta use proper in-game currency. You know, now that I think about it, I feel like talking off cam, like not having a cam on, makes it so much more natural for me. When I have a cam on and I show my face, it feels a little weak. Uh, I think I'm gonna stick to cam off for a while, because at least I can talk a bit more naturally this way. Plus voice actor role, man. Oh, I wish. I, I want to improve my voice acting. Come on, let me kill. You know, granted, they don't really yield as much HP anymore. Obviously, because they, um... I've already passed this a while ago, to be honest. Alright, so, what do we do here? That's our target. We've already reached our target. I need Penelo to... I think I have Ban, Bosh, and Penelo here, actually. Because I, I need them to be constantly... Um, I need her to be constantly setting up uh, defenses while we fight and it's coming towards us, so we gotta fight it anyway. Let's fight it, why not? How strong can it be? Yeah, it's, like, actually, it's actually not that strong. Although, last I remember, I think this thing's capable of chaining hits. I think that's the issue. Not Never mind, it does, it's not the level of chaining. It would have done it already. It's been... Oh wait, no, it's doing it. Okay. I saw it doing it as a last resort, but then we ended up killing it. Yo, Von blocking is clutch. Alright. I would turn off those gambits, but I also know that we have another mark here coming up. Arrow mode, take that. Alright, my favorite part of the whole mines is literally- Actually, okay, to be fair, the um, up here, the shaft, the site 2, I think after the scene with Bagandin, if you go back there, more skeletons will pop up. Which will actually make this fight against the um, rock toys a little tougher. Just because there's going to be so many skeletons spawning, which means I am going to need Ash for that. Also, why isn't Penelo using hers? Oh, because 30% oh, is actually lower than I thought. Plus, she's using she's using up a lot of her. Okay, hold on. She's using a lot of, of her magic points on protect and shell. Right now, I just need her to attack. <laughs> She is, she is using up, actually, a lot of magic points. Actually, wait. Oh, I was gonna say. I thought that was a bird for a second. Never mind. We're all good. What's up here? I think up here is a locked... No, never mind. It's not up here. Well, I mean... Yeah, part of it is up there, actually, where it's a locked gate that you can unlock later on. Um, but in the meantime, let's continue. We're, we are gathering a lot of bone fragments, which I like. Okay, I want Penelo leading at this point. Just because I need her to hit more enemies so she can regain her magic points right now. Wait, she doesn't even regain magic points after hitting. Oh, that's a, that's a shame. Okay, so there's the rock toys. So how's this gonna how is how this is gonna work is we're gonna take off Vaughn, we're gonna put in Ash. I am going to put Penelo's gambit of protect and shell on. Although granted, I I think we only need uh, protect. I know those skeletons are capable of casting dark, but I don't think their magic power is that power is that high. So I actually think protect I think only protect will be enough. Alright, 
So. Okay, the question is, does Aqua hit all targets? It should, right? Okay, no skeletons are appearing. No, oh, well, I spoke way too soon. Okay, wait, hold on. Hold on a second. Is it, do I have the ability to reach a, um, call it? Which side of the, is it here? Reaches magic power when HP is full. No, 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 I need, I need that. I need channeling. Yeah, channeling is what I need. It's great, I, I have a lot of license points. I'm gonna use it. Wait, is it there already? Oh, that's quick. Okay, to be fair, 10%, 10% is a lot, so. Uh, whoa, she's using up a lot of her uh, MP. And like a lot of MP. And Ash is getting annihilated. Oh my goodness. Wait, is it? Okay, I also may need to increase Ash's uh, health. I didn't think this through, huh? I honestly didn't. I need I need HP increases. Where are her HP increases? Um, are they even here? No, these are all accessories. Dang the. Hmm. So I have a plus. So I have I have a plus two seventy all the way down here. These are all magic potencies. Okay, I have an HP increase here. My goodness, these are all really far from each other. What is going on? I like how it goes straight to plus five. I'll take this because it's reduced. Um, yeah, we'll take this as well. All right, is there anything we can do for Bosch to have to help him out a little? I mean, I suppose we could just get him to increase his HP over and over. Okay, that actually does help. Yeah, why not? Um, anything down here? Yo, low key, if I can get myself if I can get myself the Zodiac Spear, that would be pretty clutch. I don't think I've ever gotten the Zodiac Spear in this game. Do we do it like a shiny Pokemon hunting se uh, segment where I just instead of looking for shiny Pokemon, I hunt for the Zodiac Spear? Jeez, I wonder how long that would take, huh? That would be nuts. Alright, let's finish this thing off. Okay. Uh, yeah, she has to cast Protect still. Protect is actually very important. Um, I just got Ash to increase her uh, restoration with Ether, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna have her uh, Ether up. Okay, this thing doesn't have Adrenaline, which is, or not Adrenaline, whatever the opposite of, of it is. I believe Adrenaline is increased strength when HP is full. Whatever the opposite of that is, Oh wait, no, it's not HP, it's defense. So, it's increased defense whenever HP is full. At this point, I'm just blabbering. I don't even, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> uh, there should be skeletons still? Question mark? Yes, okay. Cool. Uh, anyone level 80? Oh, Bosch is. Actually, that makes sense. I kind of beefed up Bosch quite a bit. Actually, the fa oh Ash is the fastest caster or the fastest um, fighter right now. Okay, well to be fair, if it's not Vaughn, then because Vaughn is the fastest, obviously, because I, I mean, that's kind of his uh, main role. Like I know you can kind of change up roles here in this game, like change up like roles, but like they each character has like their natural strengths. Like Bosch is just generally the strongest character in terms of brute strength. Uh, Vaughn is the fastest, so he has the highest attack speed. I believe Pinello has the highest magic speed. I want to say, and I believe Fran has the highest accuracy stat. 
Like, they're all very minute, like, the difference in those stats, but, like, they can make a big difference when it comes to equipping specific types of armor and weapons. You can't take it lightly. Because the scaling of stats in this game is actually pretty low. Like, it doesn't scale as high as, like, uh, Final Fantasy X, where the stats can go up to, like, 255. I'm gonna ignore this bird. Just because I want to do more skeleton hunting. I mean, not that it matters, because once we get onto the other bridge, there won't be much skeletons left to fight anyway. We're just gonna kill all the birds. Oh, this is a rare bird. Ah. Interesting. I mean, we're gonna break the chain, but that's okay. It's worth it, it's worth it. Hunting more marks. <coughs> oh my goodness, my throat is getting very itchy. But what I was gonna say was after I redeem these marks, um, I might just move on with the story. I mean, I'd like to keep Bossler longer, but you know, it's there's only I don't want to waste so much time. <laughs> So, we are off. Ouch. Okay, let's redeem, let's redeem. You've defeated the Nidhogg. Ha! Ah, most glorious of days. Now I hope they will reopen the mines. Here, a gift from the miners. Oh, I'll take 600 gil. Take this too, as a memento of the service you have done for us. It is a Nidhogg molting. Very good powdered and eat very invigorating. Okay, so... We need to re... Oh, everyone's level 18. Okay. Actually, this makes a great time to switch over. Um... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? First of all, how much guild do I have? I have 1,200 guild. Okay, that's not too much, but it's still, it's still a bit. I believe the magic store is here somewhere. Oh no, it's on the other side. Okay, I was gonna say, I kinda wanna visit the magic store to see if we can um, pick up any other magics that we haven't bought yet. Because I wanna say we are a little behind. Like, as in, like, I need to catch up with more spells. Okay, so disabled, gravity. Uh, while I'm here, I can sell. Oh, shoot. Um, I want to sell this. Bone fragments sell for a crap ton of money, which I always like. Well, dark stones, a bat fang. Well, we won't grab uh, disable. Actually, do we want to grab disable? I think like disable would be pretty useful as well. Okay, so now we can head over. Where is it? Oh, there he is. Thank you. What a pal. And look, my pet has learned his lesson and come home. Ah, oh, there's the little pet. Ah, Carbo. Thanks for the thank the nice young gentleman, Kupo. My pet. His name's Carbo. 
I know, Kubo, I know. It's not very good to keep a pet in secret. I'm really sorry for what happened. I'm going to move to some place where we can both live in peace. Here, accept this as a token of my thanks, and thank Mont Blanc for me too. Alright, done and done. Okay, so now we head on over to the next place on our list. And that is... Over here, and over here. All this running looks very odd, but I've gotten so used to it now, to be honest. Okay, so, I believe we are now strong enough to head inside the Tomb of Raythor. To be fair, Bossler is actually pretty strong. Yes? I have to be back for a bit. Okay, now I'm good to continue. Oh boy. Alright, had to do something there a little quick, but that's fine. Let's enter. You know, the, the design of these maps, the tombs, they're very eloquent. I like it. I don't even know if I used the. I don't even know. If, I don't even know if I used an English word to be honest. It just looks really nice. Imagine if this was like modern. Like if this was a game that was made like today. Imagine how decorated these areas would be. What was that thing? A contraption you'll find in all but the most rudimentary ancient ruin. One touch and off your whisk to you know not where. Final points of the operation elude me, but they're handy all the same. What more need as a sky pirate? What more need a sky pirate know? You know what, Balthier? Fair enough. But yeah, imagine if these, if this was created like around this time, like if this was made using modern uh, design technology, like using Unreal Engine to make a map like this, it would look so nice. Okay, the question is, do we want to take on this demon wall? We want to try. I am willing to try. Let's try. Because 
Because this is gonna be brutal. better decide fast we're gonna fight let's see if we're capable of beating it i mean we're doing a bit of damage to it although are we gonna be able to kill it by the time it's already halfway through holy crap I mean, it's actually crazy and flash is gone okay we have to flip Okay, I thought we could beat it, but... Shoot, so what happens to Bosch? How do we get him back? Okay, never mind, just kidding, he's back. <laughs> the wall comes, we must be quick. Together we can bring it down. Alright, here we go. We have to make our way all the way to the demon wall. Will this work? Okay, it stops it. Awesome. Oh, this wall is a lot weaker than I thought it was. Whoops. Let me activate this thing. Oh my goodness, it didn't let me activate it. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is very frustrating. That's actually pretty frustrating. Wait, are you serious? Oh my goodness. them use eye drops on the same target. Wait, that's actually really annoying. Thank you. Okay, thank goodness. I guess Ash isn't part of this. Because of Talega. Okay, that fight honestly did not need to be that tough. Let's move on. Okay, so <laughs> the X zone. I like how it's called the X zone. So if I increase the physical potency of Vaughn and Bosch, would that actually help? I feel like it would, just because they would they would deal a lot more damage. Not to mention we got it down to nearly half health when we fought it the first time. I think if we do it a second time, we'll stand a much better shot. Check my licenses again. Remedy lore. Do I have any more physical potencies? Don't think I do. Hmm. 
I have a swiftness here. Actually, swift swiftness would be quite useful. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take swiftness real quick, actually. I think just the ability to attack faster will will go a pretty long way. What can we do with Bosh? We have a battle lore here. We have a bunch of battle lores down here, although we're running out of um yeah, we're we're running out of slots for Bosh to be honest. Okay, that's fine, we'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. Battle lore is battle lore, you know? Um, with Ash, we can increase our... <coughs> we can increase our magic potency. Okay, to be fair, worst case scenario, we can call on Quickenings to finish off the Demon Wall faster. So, uh, I'm not, like, super afraid. Be fine. Keyword should, but who knows. Vaughn's first missed ability is so expensive. Hmm. Here he is. Oh, it's because of its it, it's because of where it was in the um in the uh license board, that's why. Let's just finish this thing. <laughs> Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Ash is not helping here. Need Pinello. No, don't cash Bosh into the void. God dang it. Come on, let me through. Okay, I guess I guess we were just not strong enough to beat it yet. Alright, I'll leave it as is then. Well, at least we can move on. Yeah, so this demon wall is done. Um, let's just see if there's anything else around that we can take. No? Nothing? Alright. Fair, fine by me. Fine by so many levels to this. Oh my goodness. That's why it'd be crazy if this was like uh, a map that was made Incredible. using modern technology, modern gaming technology or gaming design technology. It wounds me to look on as they pillage so solemn a place. Yet without help, you and I are as nothing. Is this not so? <sighs> There is always a give and take. That's he really how it ever works. and always on his own profit. Assure him of it and he shall remain true to our cause. I do not share your majesty's trust. We will continue this later. Now we should concern ourselves with finding the Dawn Shard. It sleeps in waiting, somewhere deep within. How can you be certain? I can hear its call. That's like saying, I have a gut feeling about this, so I know exactly what to do. No, you don't. Your guess, honestly, is as good as mine. <laughs> okay. Um, 
All right, so. I don't think we can use these just yet. I think how this works is... Um, yeah, I don't think anything is going to happen right now. Or maybe something is and I'm going crazy. Never mind, I'm probably just going crazy. Wait, no, I'm not going crazy. No, I wait. No, sorry. I am going crazy. I should have. I should have actually known, because I just used it. Okay, so we do have to go down. So let's go down. I know there are a lot of like different types of enemies. Oh, uh, enemies you'd find in like crypts down here. But we'll start. We'll we'll pretty much have to start clearing this place. My guess is I'm probably going to end streaming today just before I take on Belias. That's my guess. I don't stream for very long. I stream for like an hour per day. You know, just to just to make it so that more streams are coming. That's kind of the main reason. Wow. Kapow. Kachow. All right, anchor chief. I feel like that's gonna be very useful for the Belias fight just because I know one of its abilities can inflict oil on us. And I also like how oil is uh it's a status and it makes fire attacks much stronger against you. So. Oh there are zombies here, that's right. And there are these lamp thingies. I don't even know what to call these. And but the thing is I all but the thing is I know they explode. So we gotta be careful. Gotta take these guys down quick. Bosh is now also level 19, which is always nice. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. Alright. Uh, let's put in Bop here. Oh my goodness, this cough is really annoying. Oh, there's the explosion. Thank goodness Pinello has cure. That would have sucked otherwise. Oh, these guys drop anything? Oh, they do. They just drop a stone, though. That's so sad. That's so sad. So many dark stones they're dropping, huh? So, let's take this bird. I like this bird. I don't. I think. I was gonna say, like, these. I'm just, like, how do you find birds in here anyway? Like, are there just birds that like to hang out in crypts? Like, if you look at the design of that bird over there, it looks like it's a clown face. Like, it honestly looks like a clown face. But it's like. Yeah. It's like a cousin of the cockatrice or something. Or at least that's what it looks like to me. But yet you can only find them in cryptic areas. At least specifically this one. The thing is, zombies are much more common to find here, which makes like a lot of sense. Look how angry this guy looks. He's just staring. Imagine if you came across one of those in your travels and like it's just staring at you in the face. See, if that was me, that would creep me out. You know what I mean? Alright, so I believe we are here. Zombie mage! Oh, there's a lot of zombies. So many foul flesh. See, now, casting regen on these um, zombies is actually pretty good. It's pretty good because they are weak to it. So 
but they'll take damage every time. Not like it matters because we kill them so quickly, but like... Better to regen... Oh wait, but it's not Von who inflicts it though, it's, it's Penelos Rod. It's Penelos Rod that inflicts regen actually. On a second, I can just let me. I have to go back there, don't I? I just realized there's a waystone that I can take to go back. What am I doing? It's been a while since I've played this game, so I'm gonna forget these like small little details. But like, yeah, this this should have already been active. Now we just have to go down the other way. That's all. Okay, to be fair, I can't have Pinello casting regen on every enemy we fight, especially the boss ones. Very nice, very evil. Oh shoot. Um, get rid of this. Put this in. And I do have to control Vossler. Come on, let me in. Let me in. So I think my next stream is gonna be Sunday morning. It's usually, that's usually when it is. Actually, no, sorry, not Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon. Like probably around like two o'clock. Because the thing is, I know my channel has a lot of, um, has a big audience from like outside of the US and Canada, so it would be cool to get to interact with them a little more as well. But if you guys are watching this on the VOD and you happen to see it, so, <laughs> hi, hello. Obviously, I'm more well known for my lore videos, which is totally fine. I enjoy making them. And I see all of the comments that people request for like certain characters from certain games to be covered, which you know I totally understand. It's, it's just gonna take me a bit more time to like get around to them anyway. That's all. That's really all it is. We missed like um. Hmm. Did we miss a chest? Oh, we did. Okay, thank goodness. Thank goodness I caught that. That would have sucked. Skeleton. Oh shoot, I didn't realize. Oh wait, no, Penelope. Penelope has always been level 18. Didn't realize it took her a while to level up, to be honest. More chests. How many dark stones have I collected up until this point? I think I coll I've collected quite a bit. Hmm. Beauty. 
I also forget how big of a maze this place can be, actually. Wait, where'd it go? Oh. Did it split? No, it didn't split. It's just another one decided to come in. I don't think I've ever used any moats. Nah, I don't think I have. I'm not much of a moat user. Although, to be fair, there are going to be some times where they'll come in handy. It's just I've never used them, that's all. That's all. Oh my gosh, there's so many witches. And they're all casting oil. Disgusting. yourself isn't gonna matter all right so I am gonna end the stream here just because I own again I only stream for about an hour so in the next episode in the next stream which will be probably Sunday afternoon I'll have it scheduled here uh, we will be taking on Belias we we'll take on Belias and then we'll move on into the story um, again I don't stream for too long because I want to make sure I can put in more days for streaming plus for more people to like come by if they can drop by and see the streams and obviously more if um if we get more people discovering this channel you know so i still got a lot to work a lot of work to do in that regard which is totally fine the only way i can do that is to just upload more videos more lore topics you know um and at some point we will definitely get to covering more games it's gonna be a lot of fun actually. I can't wait till we start doing more Witcher lore. I love the Witcher universe. It is a world that is full of lore. Like it is amazingly full of lore. From it's like from the smallest book to like the biggest event. They are all connected in some way. And I love games like that. It is beautiful. Alright, so I'm gonna call it a stream here. And in the next episode, we're gonna continue on with exploring the tomb. And if you guys are watching the VOD, again, hello. And I will...